Riley from Science Girl, and today we're going to be doing three different experiments with Melt. Sorry I haven't posted in a while, my tablet wasn't working, and we couldn't afford to get a new one until Christmas. So, first video of the year, yay! <laughs> so, I got all three of these experiments from the King of Random. Really nice YouTube channel, check them out. The name of the video was Four Odd Experiments with Melt, but I'm not going to do the fourth because it involves plastic and I do not want to create more waste to go in the ocean. Okay, so have a great day and let's get started. So for the first one, we are going to need milk, a pan, and Coca-Cola. So first what we need to do is empty out some of it. I'm not going to waste, so I'm just going to dump out a bit into this glass. First you're going to want to break the seal, get all of the air out of it, gas, because we do not want that. So just going to pour it in. to judge but it's better to go less than zero there okay so I'm just gonna set that to the side it's not needed for this project but of course we do not want to waste so for this I am using whole milk um, we don't normally drink it in my house so we got a small container so just pop this open and we're going to add a bit now this will take about 45 minutes to an hour to show up so I'm just going to push this to the side while we continue the video and but at the end, I'm just going to cut it out, wait until it's all good, and then we're going to do it. So, it's, it takes a while. I can't help it. Okay. Now, just going to put this cover on. And mix it up a bit. So we want to get the gas out once again. So there is that. Now we're just going to let this sit for a bit. Yeah, I'm just going to set it over here for now. I'll get back to that, so I'm just going to call that experiment number one for now. Okay. So we have to put the cover back on on this. Okay, let's see. Number two. So for this experiment, we're going to need milk, whole milk, some food coloring, a little bit of soap, a bamboo stick, and a pan. I'm going to be using a different pan for this, so let's just move it. We don't need this. Not for this one. So we're going to pull this right here in front of us. We're going to put a little bit on the bottom, just a bit, about an inch or two. Not very much. Now, I've already done this experiment on the channel, but I want to try it again to see if I can get a better or different result. So, as you can see, I just filled it up a little bit on the bottom. Sorry, that was our cats being dumb. <sighs> okay, so I'm going to be using blue and red for this experiment. So we're going to take blue, we're going to put a few dots. You can do it in patterns, you can do whatever you want with it really. But as you can see, it's starting to spread out already, so we need to work a little quickly. There. So there we go. <coughs> We're going to pull the top off of this. Now what? Nah. Just gonna stick it in. Who cares at this point? Just going to get it to touch the bottom a bit. There we go. Pull it out. And we're just going to, now you can hit it wherever, where there's dye. And as you can see, I'll just like push it around. And according to the explanation on the video, the soap actually covers where the, uh, so on, there's a thin layer above it. And both the soap and the dye hover there. And when the soap hits it, as it spreads out, it pushes the dye. And so it creates really unique patterns. Yeah, so pretty neat. I mean, nothing extraordinary, but definitely a really cool experiment. Maybe if you want to wow your friends or something like that. And it's definitely easy to do because they're all 
household ingredients. Nothing that you have to order online, nothing special. These are all things that you can pick up at a store or pretty much anywhere. Okay, this is starting to drip, so that's going in the trash. Didn't think about that beforehand, but oh well. So, let me just push this all to the side. I'll pick it up later. Sorry, Mom. Definitely sorry about that. Okay. Now. Oh, oh God. <laughs> now, for the last experiment. Why does this have to be like this? Okay. Now, as I said, for the last experiment, that's a little bit hard right here, you're going to need two plastic cups. You're going to need milk, whole milk. Citric acid, you can get this in the canning aisle at any store. Baking soda, a one teaspoon, tablespoon, sorry, tablespoon, um, measuring spoon, and then a half cup measuring spoon. And so what we need to do is we need to add half a cup of milk per um, cup. So About, it doesn't need to be exact, as long as it's somewhat close, it'll do. And for this experiment, you can also add food dye, which is what I'm going to do. Bread. And blue. And let me just grab, let me stir this with, I didn't think about this ahead of time. in a while. I'm sorry, it gets hectic. But mix this up a bit. Something I would have never thought that was the blue milk. Came over here with the red milk. Huh, looks like strawberry. <laughs> okay, so we're just going to set that there because it's going to get messy anyway. So now you're going to need to take one tablespoon full of baking soda. and you're going to put it into one of the cups. Now, I would not recommend tasting any of these, um, just because of obvious reasons. You don't know what it is, or really. And here we have citric acid. Now, this is the stuff that they put on the outside of warheads. And I'm feeling a little bit different today, so as soon as I pop this open, I'm gonna try a bit. what my life has come to. <laughs> you will not beat me today. <laughs> okay, I just got help to get it off, so let's just grab a little pinch. Here we go. lemons on rice. Oh god. If you do not like sour stuff, I would not I would not recommend that. I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> Let me just set that spoon on there for now. Okay, so now we're going to take the other side and scoop out some of this. this in the other cup. And now I'm going to clean off my spoon. You're going to mix and drink. So on this one I added the baking soda and in the other I added the citric acid. So let's see what happens when you mix the two. finale. Apparently, according to the video, when you mix these two, let's see. So we're going to take one into the other cup. Click, click, click. 
Now, apparently, according to them, this is like a fluffy sort of like substance. Oh. Ooh, it's cold. <laughs> it's just. It feels like slime almost. There's nothing dangerous in this, so if it's okay with your parents and you're not going to make a mess, go ahead and touch it, feel it. I mean, it's pretty safe. It's absolutely safe, actually. <laughs> Yeah, so it just feels like a, <laughs> feels like a cold slime almost. It's weird. It's hard to explain. Well, I guess you'll just have to try it for yourself to figure out. That's true. My hands are all dirty, so I'm going to pause the video and wash my hands. Hey guys, I'm back, and this is what the bottle looks like. So as you can see, there's like some powdery stuff at the bottom right here. Not too sure, probably not going to touch it just for safety reasons. And then this looks like dirt mixed in with water. Now I'm going to see what happens if you release some of the pressure in the bottle. Just had to peel off the wrapper. Do not drink this, okay? Nothing happens. So it just sticks there and stays stuck. Hmm. Wouldn't have expected that. So that is the end of my video. I hope you guys have a great day. Don't forget to like and subscribe the, to the channel and the video. Also, don't forget to check out my Instagram at sciencegirlry, right on Instagram. <laughs> Love you guys. Have a great day. But for now, this is Science Girl.